Charles Coatsworth Pinckney was born on February 14, 1745, in Charleston, South Carolina, and was the son of indigo entrepreneur Eliza Lucas Pinckney. At age eight, he traveled abroad to England and was educated at Westminster School and Oxford. Pursuing a career as a lawyer, he attended Middle Temple. Upon his return to South Carolina, he married Sally Middleton. He returned in the early 1770s, uh, quickly became involved in the revolutionary movement uh, in South Carolina. And it's in 17, spring of 1780 that the British really make a, a very big push in the South. Charles Coatsworth Pinckney was the Colonel of First South Carolina. Uh, his uh, post was at Fort Moultrie. When the British attacked Charleston in May of 1780, he urged the American commander, Benjamin Lincoln, to not give up the city. Unfortunately, it does fall to the British on May 12th of 1780. It's the largest defeat of the American army uh, during the Revolutionary War. Pinckney himself was captured, paroled to sit out the rest of the war in Philadelphia. After the American Revolution, Pinckney's ideology leaned toward a more nationalistic view. A very strong Federalist, strongly in support of the Constitution and a, uh, a, a strong central government. He was chosen as a delegate to the Federal Convention in 1787. He signed the Constitution and worked successfully for its ratification in his home state. In 1800, he was advanced as the Federalist Party's vice presidential candidate. He was the Federalist candidate for president in 1804 and 1808. All three campaigns ended in defeat, along with any further national ambitions. 